Three thousand dollar he does. It's crazy. He's gonna be behind me. Get me behind me, Frankenstein. <laughs> All right. Oh, my hair suits. We're back. We're back. It is the Sundown Rundown. That's right. Is the name of the video. It is the Southern California Comics weekly video update in which we talk about. What do we talk about? Garbage. Yeah, we talk about garbage. I'm just kidding. We talk about comics. Comics are great. Yep. We're, we run them down until the sun goes down. That's right. Which yes. is later now because it's a little light. Daylight light savings yeah. time. I'm Danny. I'm Rob. We're going to talk about comics. That's right. I'm going to start. Do you? I have like six. You, yo, you're going to start. All right. First of all, we have a special April Fool's special. Ah, April Fool's. Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad. Never mind that it's like April 5th as we do this, or April 6th even. So DC was a little late on this, but it's April. There's a new... What can you do, you know? Yeah. New Harley Quinn special for you fans of Harley Quinn, for you fans of Suicide Squad. It's got it all. It's written by Rob Williams, who's taking over Suicide Squad with the upcoming post-rebirth series. Is he? Yep. It's got to be good. Currently does Martian Manhunter. Does he? <laughs> Very nice book. Ah. Very nice That's book. exciting. Yep. You got art from Jim Lee in this. You got art from Other people. Sean Galloway, I believe. Sean Cheeks Galloway. Super cute. Yep. There's a really cute section by Sean Galloway. It's like really cartoonish. You know, I hadn't intended to get this. Okay, it looks really fun. It does actually look really yep. fun. And it's got... Jim Lee art as the Justice League fights Harley Quinn for some reason, and on the cover, she's riding a man bat, as illustrated by one Jameson Lee. J. Jonah Jameson Lee. What you got? Mm, or I got some. It's, it's a new event happening at the, the Marvelous studio that is Marvel. That's Spider Women, that's right, women, multiples. It's a new event featuring everyone's favorite Spider Woman. Jessica Drew. Silk, who has a name? Silk. Is it? Yeah, it is Silk. Sandra Moon? That's it. And then, um, Sydney Moon. Sydney Moon. There you go. And then, uh, Spider Gwen slash Spider Woman slash Gwen Stacy of Earth 65. That's right. And it's the three Spider Women teaming up and, oh, having fun, junk. Yep. The, this is Spider Women Alpha number one. And this is like a event that, it's one of the ones that goes through all the different series. Right, so it starts out here with this Alpha. And then we'll presumably jump to Silk, Spider Gwen, and Spider Woman. The next part is Spider Gwen number seven. Yeah, There's a checklist in the back. That's one of those. Checklist. Yep, next one is Spider Gwen number seven. Silk seven, Spider Woman six, and so on into the month of May. And then ends with Spider Woman Omega, Alpha and Omega. You get, you get it. You're smart. I think they do with all the cross Yeah. I mean, if you're into these characters, Spider characters, well, why wouldn't you be? They're all really cool. And it involves more like time traveling junk, which I'm super into. But not time traveling, uh, dimension hopping junk, which I'm super into. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. New from Dynamite Comics, Miss Fury number one. Dynamite. Dynamite. This is by Karina Bechko and Jonathan Lau. Karina Bechko co-writes that one sci-fi comic from Image with Gabriel Hardman. Whichever one it's called, I don't remember. I'm sure it's good. Um, it's drawn by Jonathan Lau, who drew those bad Kevin Smith comics. Oh, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> the ones that Dynamite put out with the Green Hornets, and I think he probably did the six million dollar man one too, or whatever. But wow, classic, man, he's such encouraging things. But the classic pulp character Miss Fury is back. It's old timey period piece pulp fighting superhero stuff for you fans of the Shadow and the Green Hornet and so on. Who isn't a fan of the Green Hornet? Great film. You're looking a little green one here right now. Oh, ah, yeah, because of the... Because of the green. It was the very green hood A. <laughs> Elevating the joke. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, was that a number one? That was a number one, right? Yes. All right, cool. I've got Someone else who kind of dresses like a cat. <laughs> yes! Very similar... Uh, not very similar, but similar enough appearance that that counts as a segue. We've got your new Black Panther book. Written by political writer Tanisi Coates and drawn by Brian Telfries. This is a cool book. This is just all around a great book. It looks gorgeous. It's a sprawling, like, you know, epic about the tribu trials and tribulations of kingdom and ruling a country, and there's unrest in Wakanda, and it's just, it looks great, and this first issue is phenomenal. 
And P.S. They're making a movie of this guy, so you should get to know him. That's right. You don't want to jump in and be like, who's this guy? You know? Like, you know what? Watching Civil War, you'd be like, that guy is just a guy. Instead, you can be like, I know that guy. I'm intimately familiar with him. Mm hmm. But it's great. It's got science. It's got. Yeah, political intrigue. It's got plotting. It's got revolution. It's got this great spread. I love that. I don't know. I'm it's really, I'm really good. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, number one, Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad April Fool special. It's a one shot little jokey DC comic for you fans of Harley Quinn. This one is, it's got a cute little sketch cover. You could draw your own cover if you wanted to, or go to a convention, hand it to an artist, and be like, hey, I'll pay you money to draw a cover for this because they That's forgot right. to put in a cover. Who wrote this? This is uh, Rob Williams, who did, um, he's doing an upcoming Suicide Squad, actually. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he used to write the occasional Judge Dredd. Did he? For 2008. Yeah, yeah. He, wow. He did one of my favorite serials last year. Um, it was called Enceladus, but it's real good. Mmm. Very cool. I did not know that. It's a very exciting thing to know. Yeah. Uh, Jim Lee also draws it. Get out. Yeah. Just Jim Lee? Jim Lee and uh, Sean Galloway. Uh, Sean Cheeks Galloway. Galloway. Yeah, so I've heard of that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really cute cartoony. I would open it up, but it's currently inside that thing. Hmm. I'm going to change the battery. You tell yeah. me about comics. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm going to talk about comics. I just want to dance a little bit first as a bit of a segue so people weren't immediately thrown off by you not being there. I've got another number one. This one is by the new company Aftershock, Anthony, actually, and it's Rough Riders. You know, Teddy Roosevelt, that one guy, talks awfully with carry a big stick. I guess this is the series equivalent to watching him carry said big stick. So we see him, like, yeah, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen style, gather together his Rough Riders. Look at this, Teddy Roosevelt standing in flames. It's written by Adam Glass. Road Suicide <laughs> Squad, but the new 52 one. <laughs> and the art is done by Patrick Olif. 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 Olife. It looks good. I mean, if you're into, you know, Teddy Roosevelt and like watching a team come together, if you like things like, uh, if you like a little sci-fi to go with your history. That's right. I feel like watching people get punched in the face. Yep. That's the thing that happens. It looks good. Um, new from Image. This comic is. Bananas. We just looked through it. It's called Grizzly Shark. Oh, yes. Uh, it's by Ryan Otley, who draws Invincible. Mm -hmm. Card by FCO Placencia. And it is, like, really exaggerated, mega-violent, like, survival horror. It's, it's totally a comedy. Um, apparently it's in at least a miniseries, because there's going to be a number two. <laughs> but it's gross and violent. And, and dumb, but also amazing. Really funny. Like... We're just flipping through it and laughing at, like, every panel. Like, yo, a guy, something happens to a guy and he makes jokes about it the whole time. Like, it's not a serious thing. That's funny. That's humor. That's comedy. Like, we started looking through it and we are like, oh, this is really dumb. And then we're like, <laughs> this is really dumb. Yeah, like, the right kind of dumb. So. I, yeah, we just, we're just rolling out with them number ones. Yeah. That's, this is a new one. This is a promising one. This is a promising one. This is the fix. Do do do. From that homie who you might know off of such things as the Superior Foes of Spider-Man and Ant-Man, Astonishing Ant-Man? Yeah. And the current uh, proper Captain America. Yep. And who will also be writing White Captain America. Yep. The imposter White Captain America. <laughs> Your boy Nick Spencer with art by Steve Lieber. What do we know him from? Superior Foes of Spider-Man? He also did Superior Foes. That's right, because I remember it was like the solicitation was from the creators of Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Hmm. Yeah, it's sort of in the same vein, like, criminal comedy. Yeah, who doesn't love criminal comedies? Are you fans of, like, Ocean's Eleven and, uh, Snatch and, uh, The Italian Job? Look at it, there's money. They're in mass and there's money everywhere. Yep. Committing crimes. Being funny. It looks great. It does actually look really good. I flipped through it and it's funny. Hey, pizza dogs on it. Yeah, look at that. Cross company, look at that. <laughs> Get your fix. Love the fix. Speaking of comedy, uh, there's a Harley Quinn 
and Suicide Squad April Fool special number one. Just a one shot for your April Fool's Day. It's a little bit late, but that's okay. And what are you gonna do? DC's trying their best. Yeah, yeah. Like jokes are year round. It doesn't have to be just on the first. That's right. And honestly, all of April's could be April Fool's Day. I mean, it's just it's the universal spirit that just really inserts itself in April and never lets go. Let's turn this April Fool's Day into an April Fool's month. That's right. Just anyway. Months of not trusting your fellow man. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, this is by uh, Rob Williams. What's he done? Um, let's see. He did uh, that Ghost Rider series for Marvel where Ghost Rider was a lady. It was the one they canceled as soon as Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance came out. Which is a shame, because I liked uh, that lady Ghost Rider. Yeah, I never read it, but I hear it's real good. Yeah, yeah Rob Williams, a tremendous talent, drawn by Jim Lee, who does his Jim Lee thing, as you, as you know. Good old James Lee. Yep. Good old sweet Jimmy Lee. Uh, there's a nice little section by this dude named Sean Galloway. He's got a nickname, doesn't he? Yeah, it's uh, like Chicks, I think. Um, so yeah, just really nice cartoony. This is actually, he also did the cover for... Sean Cheeks Gallo humor. <laughs> Sean Cheeks Gallo's humor. Oh my god. That's how you describe the Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad yeah. April Fool's Day special. Mm. Catch it. What a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. What, another blessing. Oh. From, again, back to the Marvel. I just noticed the character design on that thing. Yeah, is great. Wow. I'm gonna start off by just showing you the name, right? This is the new Avengers standoff issue. We go up a little bit. What is that? That's the American kaiju. That is a kaiju with the American flag on its head. And he's designed like American Godzilla. How did this happen? You'll have to read it to find out because it's super good. And if that isn't enough of an incentive, how do you fight a giant kaiju? If uh, Pacific Rim is taught anything, there's a very specific way you do it. I can't wait to find out. Yeah, I think you should. Everyone should. Because Al Ewing is killing it. He's killing it. Al Ewing is killing it. Also, so is Marcus Tome. I'm so glad he's joined him on the series. I've loved Marcus Tome's art for a very long time. Oh, that, that really goes with uh, Gerardo Sandoval's issues, too. Mm -hmm. Both kind of anime-ish? Yeah! Anime -ish. Very, and, you know, again, it, it's in fitting with the sort of uh, very anime oh style. <laughs> That's incredible. It's, it's, it's beyond... Oh my god, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I'm stoked. Anyway, um, last big pick of the week is, for me at least, is The Discipline, number two. It says Peter Milgan and Leandro Fernandez's horror erotic thriller comic. It's supernatural erotic horror. That's right. Um, it's weird. It's got nudity in it. That's right. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, got a solid monsters read. Monsters, maybe? Yeah, monsters. The art is tremendous. I can show off a this. A lot of page. violence. A little violence. I like this. This is the second issue, right? Yep. I like the first issue. It was very weird. Yeah, Peter Mulligan's one of my faves. I did. I noticed some of your boys on uh, that website that you contribute to slash own. What did you say? Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to outright plug you here, but you should go to Lizard City. They're cool dudes. Dot com. They do really awesome articles and such. I actually spent a decent amount of time reading oh, well, <laughs> articles thank you. on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I think one of them didn't like it. I don't remember who. Because it was not particularly horror y enough for him or erotic y enough for him. But it was. I, yeah, I remember that, yeah, yeah. And I remember thinking, like, oh, I, I can see that. I didn't think it was cool and weird, though, which is why I'm going to stick with it. Why I think you should stick with it as well. Because there's time yet. I agree. That's, um... Anything else we need to talk I about? I think that's maybe all that I have, but... You want to talk about that thing? I, I don't know if I want to talk about that thing. That thing should probably speak for itself. Wait, I mean, is it? That is a great question. Um, I like it, but it's weird. Uh, it's a friend of the store. Probably to all mankind. This hand is backwards, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, it kind of bends my... Uh, this one's... Yeah, it's a little... This one actually uh, is a hand. It's a little freakish. <laughs> it's got like a tube top or something? <laughs> Stylish? I don't even call that tube top, but... Uh, what's today? The 5th. Right, six maybe. April the sixth. We discussed this earlier in the video. We may have because it's not April Fool's Day. The, we're we're making it to Free Comic Book Day. It's right around the corner. Almost. Oh, that's right. That's the first Saturday mm -hmm. of May. That's right. And you know, if you've been to the shop before, we do this. We do a big thing. We get it popping. Yes, we have vendors. We have people selling toys and other collectibles. We have a sale on comics, we have the free comics, we have extra free comics, mm -hmm. usually, because there's a bunch of, like, old junk we don't want anymore. Right. We'll have 
creators selling their wares. Usually we have some sort of like extravagant like centerpiece thing like last year's and dude brought his Batmobile. Uh, I think maybe the 501st Legion, right? That's what they're called? The oh, yeah. Star Trooper dudes? The guys dressed like Star Wars and like troop around. Yeah, them. Sometimes they show up. Like, yeah. it gets lit. It's popping. It's lit. Wow. It's good to look forward to that. That's right. It's the first Saturday of May. Yep. I'll say May 3rd. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that. Yeah, but. Or don't worry about the day. Just first Saturday in May. Be there. Go. I'll put it in the notes at the bottom of the YouTube page. That's smart. You so should just, do that. When you're done with this, just scroll, scroll down. down. And you'll see. I think that's, um... That's it? Oh! Uh, actually, from the business side of things, uh, I believe last week we got in the new previews. Yes. Oh, yes. So, uh, a quick addendum, if you will, to that. Uh, because DC is doing their whole rebirth thing in Mahuzi, what's it, uh, coming up in June? Yeah. Um, they are not featured in the new previews. Um, they only have certain collectibles in there. But DC's proper previews is coming out next week, I believe. So, don't be busy sleeping on them. Come on in on Wednesday and get that DC preview so you don't miss out on all the super cool new uh, DC titles that are going to be dropping with Rebirth. That's true. Like, it all looks great. Superman. There's a new Superman. That's right. There's a new Superman. Um, new Batman. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, Scott Snyder, you know, he's not going to be on the main Batman line. He's going to be on All-Star Batman, which is going to be with a bunch of, like, really awesome artists like uh, John Gordon Murphy and Jock. And then the main Batman is being written by Tom King, who's writing, like, all the good stuff right now. Oh, yeah. Greg Ruck is back on Wonder Woman, which is a personal, just, I, I can't tell you how exciting that is for me. Like, it's a lot of feelings I don't think I should share with you guys because we're not that close yet. Um, it's it's, it's going to be a good time. And you don't want to miss out because you don't know what titles are coming in. So... Come in next week. We'll definitely talk about it in the video next week, too. Oh, of course. But, but just giving you a heads up so that way you can preempt mm -hmm. that. Come in. Talk to us about talking about previews. Then we'll talk about previews. That's right. That's right. So. That's right. Look forward to seeing you then. Yeah. That's it. That's it. This, yeah, is it. Uh, this, is, this isn't a week for humor. I mean... This is a completely unfunny show. <laughs> we were April, serious all the way through. April 1st has passed. That's right. This is a solemn time for recovery, um, for you to try and rediscover yourself. Yeah, Yeah. it's called April Fool's Day, not April Fool's Month. That's right. All right, so we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.